Hi, welcome to Reach Tip of the Day. Uh, the topic for today is sterilizer spore testing. There's two typical ways of uh, having accomplishing that, which is required weekly on your sterilizers. And one is to mail in your spore test for to get that tested, or in-house incubation testing. This is what we recommend, is in-house. Uh, the issue with uh, mailing a spore test off is Say you, you test your sterilizer on a Monday, you send it off, and if you're doing it locally, you're getting the results back four days later. You have to think about the amount of sterilization that has happened in that time period, and if there is something wrong with your sterilizer, the liability that can result in that. So we recommend in-house testing. The brand that we have is uh, recommend is Tuttenauer, and it's very quick and easy. Um, the spore test that they offer is either a 20 minute result, the ultra rapid test, or the, ra the rapid test, which is um, a one hour uh, result. So um, the, w when you order the kit, you get a package of 50 of the vials, spore tests, the incubator, the USB cord to connect to the internet for digital logging, and we'll go into that in a minute. They're very easy to use. What you would do is you would take a spore test and you would run it through your sterilizer like you typically would instruments. You take it out, you let it cool for about three to five minutes. You put it in here and you bend it sideways. What that does is there's a liquid um, medium in here that uh, you're gonna break that vial and the spore test is in the very, the spore is in the bottom. It's going to saturate that, uh, the spore, and then you're going to open this up, put it inside, and it's going to register immediately which hole you put it in uh, by the red and green uh, light. After 20 minutes, or during that 20 minutes, however long it takes, it's going to ind ind indicate a red or a green that's going to tell you a positive or a negative result on your spore that you just did. And then your, let me turn that off. It just re registered that I took it out. At the completion of a spore, it prints out a, a little readout. And what that did is it, it registered that I had a spore in there and that I pulled it out. And so it says canceled. But at, typically when you're running a spore test, you're going to get a printout of all the time, the date, and it'll say negative or positive. So you have a, a readout in 20 minutes versus days. Um, some of these, uh, these mail-ins can be at the East Coast. So that can be a, almost a couple weeks before you get your results back sometimes. Um, and again, the liability there is, is very high. Um, and I need to also say that Typically, when you have a, a, a positive on your uh, spore test, it's not the sterilizer. The majority of times there is an issue with your, the spore testing that was done and mailed in, and it's just a matter of running it again. But when you get a positive spore test, you have to take that sterilizer, sterilizer out of production until you get a good one, and that can be an interruption in your day. So we do recommend the in-house, very easy to do. To log that information, you have a printout, or you can do your own Excel sheet in your office, or this company uh, offers that you can hook this, the incubator up to a computer, and it logs every time you do a spore test, and it, they keep a, rec a digital record of those logs. So that's what we recommend is in-house spore testing and the reasons why.